So we were talking our last episode. We kind of saw a little cliffhanger. If you were, you know, folks out there, so we're going to continue the conversation. So what was your what was your question, girlfriend? As we were discussing, uh, we were talking about wordsmithing. I think that's mm -hmm. the thing, and that I need help in my business. How to part ways with a client where there's just tension, and there's you know the client wants something from you that you can't give. Regardless of what it is, I'm just talking in theory. How do you use words to part ways and not burn the bridge? Because this person could be an influencer in your life or in your business, and you don't necessarily want any bad feelings, but you certainly just have to recognize, look, I'm not the right X for you, whatever that is. And I need help with that. Well, I think number one, um acknowledging that first of all yourself going i'm not the right person for you for this this client yeah. that's key i think that's very key because we go in with ego we go in with our own ego and we're like well they're doing this and they're asking for this and but if you recognize already you know i'm really just it's not really working out anymore like they need these four things i just don't do it or i can't give it to them or i don't want to give it to them. I, I just i just it's just not me um they may need to go somewhere else to get those four things once you recognize that first with yourself, I think that's then. So then you go into it going, I don't want to go into it fighting. Right. I don't want to go into it uh, angry. I'm going into it solution based, so to speak. You go, always go into like any other, I always say go into like any other thing you would do, whether you're keeping them or not, you're going into it solution based. So you want to actually solution. Number two, I think it's very important. <laughs> um, it's almost like you have to turn it on them. The wording okay. is to turn it on them, I'll give you an example. So it's like, I asked someone happened for me, they were wanting, I was doing what I felt was the best I could for them and, and add stuff, but they wanted certain things um, uh, in bigger spaces. And I just, I kept telling them, it takes time, blah, blah. blah. And, I, and after a while, I still do, they were still not happy. I was like, okay. So I so I hear you guys. You guys want you want to be in People Magazine and Entertainment Weekly and and so I think I'm letting you know now I can't get you in there in in next month or so. It's gonna take a while for me to get you guys in there. And I say you might want to find someone actually who can get you in there faster. So that's that's what you want. So you kind of turn it back. You take their words. You take their wants. And mm. kind of throw it back, but not in a petty way or like they just like just you just basically just like okay, I I, I hear you guys saying and say, I hear you guys saying or I hear you saying, or are you ladies or you this or whatever I hear you saying. I think it's very important. I hear you saying you're unhappy with the ad space. You're unhappy with the and so I want to know if, if that if that is true, that's fine. But if that one is if that's true, and there might be people suited better suited for you to get you there i've taken you as far as i can go at this stage oh oh wait where's the pen <laughs> I guess I did, yes. hold on it's... folks that's <laughs> a little bit of a nugget there yes it is i've taken it as far as i can yes i have taken you as far as i can you can say at this stage or the season or you stop it at that i've taken you as far as i can so you're admitting on some level without even being you know self-deprecating and it's like you know I've, I've done what i can for you and you guys i know you guys want more or you want different i i can't give it to you so at the first thing is i'm hearing you right. and what i'm hearing is you is, x, x yes. is that true yes and then when they validate it's you know, say something nice. I've taken you as far as I can. Yeah. You need to seek out. You know. Yeah, I would. I would say. I would say first though, while you're validating, I hear what you're saying. I get it, and I hear what you're saying, and that's valid. Maybe want to say that. Okay. Actually, say the word valid or some kind of form a form of it. You know, that's valid. I know you guys want that. So then you say validate. I, I think I think I've taken you as far as I could go. Got want to seek someone who could take you I'm further. I'm actually further. taking notes. Folks. Good, I see you taking notes. Oh, like, now, my scribble is like bad. 
but I do, I've been reading it forever. So I will <laughs> be able to come back to it. I used to be a nurse. I used to read Dr. Scratch. So it's <laughs> like, okay, that means, okay, got it. Right. Uh, yes. But no, but okay. that, the first thing is you want to validate and then admit on their validation. Well, wouldn't mean. it be acknowledged though? The first step is acknowledging the tension, right? Whatever yes. it is. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. So we so have to they, acknowledge. So, so, okay. So. First, that's a good, that's a good start. So first of all, you're like, okay, um, let's have a call, let's have a call, let's have a call or let's have a meeting or whatever. You do that. Um, and then you say, okay, um, I, I just want to, I want to, I just want to acknowledge that we've had some challenges recently. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I want to find out from you, um, if there's anything we can do about it or not. And then you can bring up, so I, so I'm hearing from you that you would like to have larger ad space and bigger print magazines. Is that true? And you want them within the next three or four months, right? Right. You're not, well, you're not open to waiting another, you know, how long does it takes? They go, yes. Then you go, okay, I hear you. I totally get it. Um, you know, it's, that's valid. I think for us, we can't take you there at that time period. Um, so you might want to think about seeking someone else. Uh, you know, and then, you know, so it's like, so you have that three, one, two, three punch, acknowledgement, validation, acknowledge, validate and solution, whether that's, hey, then we need to shift you into product Y or yes. I'm not the right person or whatever it is, the solution has to come, whatever, whatever it is for that particular case. And, and here's key. Also, you want to include them in the solution process. You want to make it inclusive you want to it. solution. <laughs> exactly. I would. I want. That's that's inclusive. That's that's exciting. But the, the point is, kind of you want to you want to, you want to make it their idea. You want um you want you know you want to make it, you want to make it. So I'm trying to give a sense could you go with the still go with the ad analogy. Um, so since you want you know there's there's a, there are a lot of folks out there who are larger than I am, or actually have much more experience that might be able to get you into Pure Magazine sooner. You know, you go out there, you Google or look around. Um, it may, you know, it may cost much more money and stuff, but that's, you're up to, what are you, what are you guys thinking about that? Like, what, or like, what do you, what, what would you like to see? Tell me what you'd like to see in the solution. What would be your great solution? Or well, I would say things like, if you can, if you can validate, if not validate, what's the word I want to see? If you can visualize, what you want to have happen next? What would it look like? Let's say this. Let's say it out loud. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be encouraging. Trying to be encouraging. Say it out loud. Let's just, let's visualize. Say it out loud. You know. Um, you know. It's it's like you want to make them part of it. Okay. So it's the solution is inclusive and encouraging. Yes. Okay. Acknowledge validate solution inclusiveness inclusivity i think is a word yeah, and inc and encourage and encourage inclusivity uh, encourage. And that that would be a way though if it is the breakup conversation to to do it in a very professional manner and i think that that's um because that comes back to my question that i'm i'm in right now is and thank you so much james for really helping me I feel prepared now I can, in my mind, work out, right, a path of words that will get me to where I think I need to be with this particular client. And I'm, and that's great. So thank you. Acknowledge, validate, solution. Another thing too is, you know, as you, if it is a breakup, you know, we've so enjoyed working with you and I'm glad we, I'm oh, yes. not as far as we got, you know, you know, all those, you know, all that stuff. Oh yeah. 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 yeah that that part, know. that part I got down. Yeah. It's the, you know, it's the way of thinking. And I think that, and you probably deal with this in your business all the time yes. is your thought process. You have to have a process. So we have lots of, in my business in service and sales, we have lots of processes but you don't necessarily think about, well, what do we do when it's no longer working? You know, because every, everything is always new and fun. So we're always looking for the sale. We're always looking to engage with the service. But what happens when it doesn't go right? Now, 
on claims, we have a process there of how we talk to people about claims, especially when it's a gray area or there may be no coverage. So we've, we have those, but just the client, like, Hey, look, I think we've taken this as far as we can, you know, and if I'm hearing you, but see, I didn't know the order you gave me a proper order because I didn't know where to start. Yeah. And that's the hesitation. But if you have a process, you eliminate the hesitation. Right. Well, it's awkward. That's it's wonderful. Awkward. And I think it's also important, though, James, and I tell me if you agree, we can't be focused on the other person's reactions. Nope. Yeah. Right. Because what we want to do is get to the solution quickly and, and basically Maybe. part ways in my thing and do it gracefully. Right. And we don't. So I can't worry or anticipate the other person's response, because most of the time I've been told. Anticipation is is a strategy. It's not a life skill. And so if I'm constantly trying to anticipate what everybody's going to say or do or think, I'm going to be wrong most of the time, because a lot of the times people I mean, we don't really know. So if you if you worry about what people are going to say, then you're going to procrastinate. You won't get to have the conversation, right? Is that the engage? I think the engagement part is where we all kind of get stuck. So the point is, what you're saying is, it's it's the it's the awkwardness. It's all the stuff that comes with. Uh, I'm afraid that they get mad. Well, they say that. The whole thing is, and I go back to what I said before, the way you enter in will help you conduct all that. It's like if you're coming in with the intention to find a solution um, for everybody, if you can, or try to, um, you're coming in not combative. You're coming in not offensive or defensive. I say acknowledging your stuff first, that's going to help you with anybody else. Um, so no matter what their reaction is, if their action is crazy or whatever, you're like, I'm sorry you're upset. You, you stay calm. You'd be like, I'm sorry you're upset. I'm sorry this is bothering you. Um, you know, but but I, I'm acknowledging what I'm gonna be turn back on that. I'm acknowledging that you want a certain thing and I can't give it to you. And turn around. Yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if you're in my these words, if you're in my shoes, what would you do? Like or if this like I see where you're coming from, can you see where I'm coming? Like start saying those kind, you see where I'm coming from. Like I I, you know, I can't do it. I like this. I just, I, just, I can do it for you. And we want you to succeed. You know, turn that back to this, the positivity. We want you to succeed. We've loved working with you this whole time. And we want to make sure that you're doing fine. And um, and we can help you in these areas. But there's other areas we just can't. Um, right. You know, and it just, and just, and I'm a factual person. I'm a facts person. So if you even if you have facts or for, like you have some receipts from some stuff, you know, see when we when we tried this, you guys weren't we weren't happy with our work. Or when this happened, there was there was tension. Or when this happened, like you have some re if you have to pull out the receipts because they're just getting upset, then you have to pull the receipts. Yeah. I'm just telling you, like this project didn't go as smoothly as it could have. You know, and it's and it's and it's on both of us. It's on all of us. It ain't go. You know, there's no no placing blame either. It's like it's just it's on all of us. We didn't come together and produce what you wanted. Right. And it's like, and they go, I mean, they can't really argue that. They go, well, you're right. I mean, it's hard to argue with somebody who's telling you you're right. <laughs> Not the little gym, folks. Thank you. <laughs> it's hard to argue with someone when they're telling you you're right. They'll try. They'll be shocked. They'll be like, what do they do themselves? Um, but if you're telling them, you know, I'm acknowledging you. If someone's just crazy talk, then they just, you know. And I, right. I, There's I, nothing I, you can do about I'm crazy. crazy. Yeah, I have some crazy where I literally was acknowledging that, like, I'm like, no, you are right. You're right about that. I did, you know, and they're still are wanting to argue. It's like, I don't That's know. Right. That's just that now we, we're done. Then, then we are done. Some bridges can't be saved. You can try. Yeah. Some can't. I, I thought I burnt bridges, but I didn't apparently when I was in the insurance world. I didn't. I thought I did. I burnt some, but some I didn't. So when I came back, you know, 11, 12 years later, it was like, oh, yeah, I guess I didn't really burn that many. I just kind of have a few. Um, and this time I left, well, I was kicked out kind of, um, I didn't really burn any bridges there either. There's a lot of folks that just still like me and I didn't spout my mouth or, you know, run things like you have to, you just, you have to kind of 
try to think of the big picture of what is, what is the big picture. If especially if you're in the same business, you can still be near them. Right. Talk happens because I would say this too: you never know when someone's blocking business from you, potential business from you. Yeah. And they could run to somebody who could use your services, and they go screw them. You know, you know. Or they yeah. can say, I love them. They are good for that. And they pass on the business to you. You just never know who's blocking stuff. You never know out there. It's a small world, I always say. It's a very small world. Yeah. It is. Yes. Insurance is small. small. Yes. You wouldn't think so, but it is. It is. It is. And people are like, you know so and so. You know so. I'm like, yes, I know so and so. And I do know this person. Like, it's like we all, we all are one or two degrees away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Really, yeah, basically. And we really are. So that's like, I believe, I, and this is from the last conversation we were having, our last conversation. Um, I, I was I was a spelling bee champion, as I said on the show before, and <laughs> English is one of my major things. And I just, I love language because there is language for every situation out there. And there is, there is the right language for every situation out there, if you know what I mean. Like there's, you can choose, there's words you can choose that will start a fight. And there are words mm -hmm. you can use that can avoid one. Very true. There's just that there is. And that's in personal relationship, professional relationship. We're talking about emotional labor in the last, last uh, show we were talking about. There's just certain, there's just certain roles we take on, but it's how we express ourselves to the others, right. what, results, what results you'll get. You know, that yeah. we're say you catch more flies with honey and you know than with vinegar or whatever. Sometimes you have to, but but I I say I still say this. It comes from you first. Yeah, you have you have to acknowledge what's going on, whether it's good, bad, or ugly about yourself. Yeah. I also think that um, well, there's two things, two thoughts came to mind. And I absolutely agree with you. Surprise. <laughs> I think the first one is that we are not always going to be our best selves when we are faced with a situation, you know, and so, and you have to acknowledge that. And so I think that in a relate, I'll take it from a relationship standpoint, you know, sometimes the person like, oh, you know, they'll say something and you might be irritated by it. And so my natural reaction is to be irritated, <laughs> right? Okay, like, but then if I say, you know, I'm just not, I'm not, I don't feel well today, or I'm not like my mind is consumed with my, with a business issue that I'm having, or I'm just kind of like blue today. I'm not my best self. Can we talk about this another time? And that takes emotional intelligence because rather than getting into a fight, or being half available for, you know, for somebody, you can just literally say, I just can't do this right now. And in a nice way and be honest at the same time. I think honesty is a big deal and um, try and practice. I do try and practice that all this very much a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the second one too, is just try and be honest without being hurt. So if somebody like, you know, if the client says, look, it's just really not working out being like, I acknowledge that. I absolutely agree with that, you know, and I'm, and, and I'm sorry, we, you know, weren't able to do this for you or that for you. Um, and just kind of take it from there rather than being like you said, bring your ego into it or be like hurt in a situation that has nothing to do with emotion. You know, this is not you know, a relationship, this is a business. If it's a relationship and you're feeling hurt, say it. So, you know, I hear you, but right now I'm just kind of overwhelmed with the hurt and that's not you, right? You can't hurt me. Only I I'm taking that in. I'm filtering that and it's coming up right now as being hurt. So I need to go away and deal with that. Otherwise you're, you're just going to act out of hurt and anger as opposed to just really being able to have an honest conversation. Honesty is a tough one because when you're honest, you're getting somebody's, you know, their feelings, their perceptions, their wants. And if they don't match up with yours, how, how do you deal with that? Yeah. The thing, the thing is, 
you touched on some really great stuff, of course, but the, I mean, the, the, the whole thing is we are prefer on perfect. And that's just not God. No, <laughs> not at all. We strive for it. Our intentions are there for things. You want things to run smoothly, but you bring up one really good point that I do want to bring up when it comes to professional relationships is the acknowledgement of falling short or the acknowledgement yeah. of being hurt by someone saying. So I don't want to tell people out there, I don't want you to say you can't feel your feelings. Um, yeah. But if you're trying to separate from them because you acknowledge that, then you have to hold your feelings in check. You have to, you have to hold them in check because then it, then it will fall apart. And you're upset because they're upset and they're upset because you're upset. And then it becomes about everybody being upset. But I want to say I do acknowledge folks out there and acknowledge you for the, you know, the, the realizations you had to come to to go, well, that's not working anymore. It was working. It was great. Now it's not anymore. And you have to, it's not an easy decision to always say fire a client or let a client go or let them go. It's not, it's not easy because we're all trying to make money and stuff. We're trying to be, we're trying to give the best yeah. service we can. Yeah. It's weird. So I go, oh, I'm not. Well, I think, I think there's, I think it's easier for some people than it is for other people. And I think that ego is a big part of it. And I also think that there's, there's an acknowledgement of what do I want? Right. What is, what do I want my business to look like, feel like on a daily basis, as opposed to the outside world dictating that to me. So then you move away from the, oh, I've got to work on every deal that comes my way. Right. As opposed to, I'm not the right person for that deal. I'm not the right person for that deal. Oh, I want that. I'm really good at that. And when you get to that point, I think is when you do break through and you can drive your business and be happy because you're doing it your way. You're doing it with the folks that you want to service and support. And as opposed to just taking all comers because you're in quotations building, that's not building that's chaos in my mind. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for those, like when they say, Oh, I'm a generalist. Okay. What does that mean? So you take everything in. So you're not really great at one thing or two right. things, Right. you know, you can't be good at everything. And I think that that, in my business and sales, when you think that, oh, I've got to work on every deal, you're going to fall short all the time. Yeah. You know, and so I'm, I'm gotten to that place in my business where I'm learning how to create my business through my eyes, as opposed to what the outside world might want or, you know, might need from me. So that I can give to a group as opposed to trying giving to everybody again, falling short. I think that that's the most important thing is, you know, deadlines suck, right? But they exist for a reason. Yes. And do. when you can't meet it, you already know it. Don't right. wait until the, the, you know, the 23rd hour. I know. Tell somebody an hour 10, look, I agreed to do this in this time frame. I unexpectedly I'm not able to do that so I want to let you know now so you have time to pivot or can you give me more time to get it done and this is what that looks like and I, I've gotten a lot of success managing my day-to-day -day with new clients that way because you know the assumption is we're all just available right so when somebody calls it's like hey I need this well I can get to that next Tuesday what do you mean and then you lose a deal because you can't be available for somebody immediately. And in, you know, in my world, some things actually take planning. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. And yeah. then I'm I'm dependent on other people in a lot of circumstances to be available. What's their schedule? So it, you know, you just get comfortable saying, I can get to that on Tuesday. Does that work for you? And when they say no, say, I'm already committed. Right. And, you know, a lot of times people don't like that, but that's okay. Yeah, I had a, a person who, disappoint, who disappointed me, but, but just literally did me and my, my acting company wrong four separate times. Oh. I, I gave them four chances. I gave them more chances than I did. Four chances. Oh, that's because you're a very nice person. I try to be very nice. But then I was like, but the last thing, yeah. I let her go. I wrote a whole, never heard from her or anything. A year later, recently, a couple of days ago, I hear from her and I didn't respond. 
I had a, I was very clear from she apologized. I know I was going through a lot of stuff back, and I was I'm like, sure, okay, that's fine. But you said it to me again the second time, the third. I'm like I've got these apologies every time, um, and I've seen some stuff how she lives her life on some level, which is not my business. But I've seen a few things she posted online. I'm like, you're going through your side. I acknowledge. It. I just like. I acknowledge it. I erased the email. I didn't even acknowledge it. I was just like, no, I'm leaving you alone. Yeah. This is a lesson for you. You can't treat people a certain way over and over again. They sort of just go, right. okay, I don't like abusive relationships. I don't do that. And that's why I call right. it. It's like, I'm hiring you to do something. You don't show up. And then it throws everything off and it makes more work for me. And then you just go away and then you come back. I'm sorry. Like, so I had to be very strong and not combative. And like I said, the last thing I sent her was very actually kind of loving. I was just like, you're going through some stuff. We all do. Figure all that out. Good luck to you. I did try. And I think I said, I tried four times with you. Um, but again, I threw it back on, like, you're going through stuff. This is your stuff, not mine. But I have a I have, I have my receipts. I have a show to run. I have other people that are affected by your actions. It's right. not just, you know, so you have to kind of, you have to really take yourself on, put it on the side, so to speak, and just look at it from the sideline and go, yeah, none of that looks good. So we got to figure out how to word it so that it's not combative. It's just like, again, you can't argue with somebody who's saying that you're right or somebody who's using you argue with somebody when you're using their own stuff on them. It's like, this is what you told me is happening. I'm, I, I'm acknowledging it. Um, and it doesn't work for us. <laughs> like, it doesn't work for us. So, uh, so you have to go. It, He's right. It's not working. If you're an involved, if you're a person who can you know, see that, but I don't. I don't. I think it's just words and the language you can use that actually can help you. You know, gain things, help you get out of stuff. I mean, like it's just there's this great language. I, I mean, there's a there's a lot of words you can use. Use your words. Use your words. words. Use your words. Well, I am James. Oh, sorry. This is coffee and conversation. I am James. I'm Melissa. Let's get out there. And it's episode 73, so we're getting there. Uh, you can follow us on all social media platforms. You can follow us on all auto streaming services. You can follow us on YouTube. There's a playlist with all of the even the former ones. Some folks said are going back and watch some of the other ones. They're all great conversations. We have guests here sometimes. We'll have guests in the future, of course. Um, but check these out as we head towards 100. We're at 73. This is good. Um, and, of course, we love all kind of comments. Melissa knows how to actually read now to respond to comments now on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm hit and miss. I, I'm I'm not super dedicated to it, but I do try and get there once a week. Yeah, so you can see what's going on. So say hi to her. Write say hi to write something on there if you like. Um, we'll see you next time, folks. Have a great week.